Welcome to episode 262 of the Two Minute Warning. Today I'm looking at whether or not the Miami Dolphins should try and trade for Deshaun Watson. It has been big news yesterday that Deshaun Watson came out and told his a uh, couple of his teammates on the Texans team that he could be asking for a trade very soon. Really, before I even get into this, whether the Miami Dolphins should, it, should do it, it's really a debate of whether or not the Texans will trade him. Is he even on the trade block? Will the GM go through with it? They just signed their GM to a new six-year, $30 million deal. $30 million deal. That's $5 million a year. So, <clears throat> a couple things just to take note from that is that if the Texans GM is there for six years and he knows he's locked in, he might actually be tempted to trade Deshaun Watson because he knows he is there for the length of a rebuild. Even if he does trade Deshaun Watson and they're bad for two years, he's there for six, so they have time to rebuild. If he trades them and they're bad right away, they can't just fire him because he has a six-year contract. So he has the time to rebuild if that's the, um, <clears throat> the kind of move he wants to go with. So I could actually very well see this Deshaun Watson trade happening. And along with why this could also happen is that Deshaun Watson talked to the uh, Texans front office and their management and told him he wants the Chiefs offensive coordinator as their coach, Eric Bieniemy, or at least would like them, like him as their head coach for them to consider him. And really, the Texans did not even interview, interview Eric Bieniemy. He interviewed pretty much every open spot around, around the NFL between the Jets, Jaguars, Chargers, Falcons, Lions, and the Texans just did not even interview him. So that is definitely a reason Deshaun Watson might not be happy there. First, he doesn't have a team around him to throw to. He does not have protection. He does not have a defense to rely on to get a stop. And he does not have a coach that he likes. So this trade demand, which isn't really a demand yet, he hasn't came out and actually asked for one, is definitely makes sense from his perspective. I didn't get why he's asking for it. But the number one target that instantly came to my mind was the Miami Dolphins. Just we've seen a lot of debate of and skepticism around the Miami Dolphins of whether or not they should keep to a tongue of Iloa. To me, it's kind of an odd spot because you finish 10-6, and six, and really 10-6 and six, any other year of the NFL, you're going to make the playoffs. So they finish 10-6, and six, and they're already kind of considering getting rid of their quarterback, and really he's only played half a season, so you really don't know what you got. To me, if they made the playoffs, this wouldn't even be a question. They'd still be sticking with their guy. However, they don't have – they didn't make the playoffs, unfortunately, for them, so it definitely raises a question. But looking at draft capital and what a team could get for Deshaun – or what the Texans could get – get for Deshaun Watson because he's like a top seven quarterback in the league and you're not going to get um you're not going to get a proven quarterback in the league that's ready to win now and has Super Bowl talent for Chief by any means there's only like five or six seven teams that won't take them such as the Chiefs Packers Chargers Bengals um Seahawks you know uh, the Bills or Josh Allen there's only a few teams that are really not going to be interested in this Deshaun Watson trade so looking at the Dolphins having the most draft capital for the Texans to get in return. They have Tua Tungvaluwa. They could trade him to the Texans. Therefore, the Texans at least have a quarterback to start with. They're not starting from rock bottom. They at least have some talent to get in there. And maybe Tua might be the star that no one's really expecting him to be, and he could be the answer for the Texans. This really might be a Texans win trade, but they could also trade, like I said, Tua and the number three overall pick and the Miami Dolphins 18th overall pick. That sounds like a lot, two first round picks and a possible franchise quarterback. But like I said, getting a top seven quarterback in the league, you win the trade no matter what you give up in my eyes. It's just a franchise player, a player that can last 15 years and get your team to a Super Bowl. I know it's a big shakeup for the Dolphins if they just move on from Tua to Deshaun Watson when they already had a great winning season. But to me, you got a coach, you got a defense, you're lacking on receivers and an O-line, but you have a top quarterback in the league who arguably is top seven, top six, but maybe could jump up to top four, top three when you get the right coach. Brian Flores is an amazing coach Brian, for the Miami Dolphins. They're going to get a new offensive coordinator. I think this potential for the Dolphins would be absolutely huge, and I think they should at least definitely talk to him. If they could even save one of those first-round picks, maybe not trade away their 18th, just trade for Tua and a third-rounder and maybe and their third overall pick and maybe a third or fourth rounder and keep their 18th overall pick, that would be huge because that could they could use that 18th overall <clears throat> to possibly get Deshaun Watson an extra receiver on the Dolphins, an extra O-lineman for protection. Really, the defense, <clears throat> yeah, you can always make something better, but the defense is the one thing of the Dolphins you don't really want to touch if you don't have to. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Xavier Howard stood corner for him, led the lead in interceptions, and the rest of the defense is just locked down as well. To me, leave the de defense alone and worry on the offense. Get your quarterback, whoever it is, whether you don't trade or you do trade, another weapon to throw to. I like Devontae Parker and I like Mike Gesicki, both great talents. 
but they are not enough to take the Dolphins to the Super Bowl, so they need one extra guy. They don't go through this trade. I hope they draft with draft either Devontae Smith or Jamar Chase for Tua to throw to, or somehow trade up if they uh, trade for Deshaun Watson, trade back up and um, get Javante Smith and Jamar Chase. I mean, if you get Deshaun Watson and Devontae Smith on the same team in Miami, they're going to make a deep playoff run right away. Now, I know that's the most bold take there is and very unlikely for them to make a blockbuster trade for Deshaun Watson and then make a blockbuster trade to move up in the draft and get Devontae Smith. That's a lot that I'm asking out of the Dolphins, but if they somehow click that together, just even make one of those two things happen, I think the Dolphins have a bright future in this draft for sure, as long as they don't screw things up completely. Now, if the Dolphins didn't go through it, to me, the other teams that really stand out are the Jaguars. They got the number one overall pick and the Los Angeles Rams first round pick. So that might be a fair trade. Deshaun Watson, number one overall, four number one overall, and then the Rams first rounder. I don't think that'll happen because I doubt a Texans team would trade your franchise quarterback to another team within your division. And, you're, and he's going to be your competition for the next for two games for the next 15 years, they don't really want to deal with that, so that's a little unlikely to me. Then there's the Jets, they have the number two overall pick, and they have the Seahawks first round pick. Pretty similar to the Jags trade, but they're not <clears throat> having to face um, Deshaun Watson twice a year like they would if they turned into the Jaguars, so the Jets definitely have a little bit of draft capital as well. Maybe they'll package in Sam Darnold as well, not that he's a franchise guy, but it's at least a starter for the Texans to go to rather than their backup right now. <clears throat> also, Maybe the Atlanta Falcons, they have the number four overall overall pick. Maybe they could trade that number four all overall pick and a trade package of Julio Jones and Matt Ryan. Yes, that sounds big, but Julio Jones has already been noted to be on the trading block possibly this offseason, and I think the Falcons will draft a quarterback this um, in this upcoming draft, Zach Wilson or um, Justin Fields, to at least sit behind Matt Ryan. However, if they trade... Traded all the way. They got Deshaun Watson, a proven guy. I don't have to start over as a rookie. So that's definitely a possibility. So those are the four teams that I think have the best draft capital that came off the top of my head. And then there's other teams that could be looking for a quarterback, such, such as the Patriots. Bill Belichick doesn't start, want to start over with a rookie. The San Francisco 49ers, if they're not 100% into Jimmy Garoppolo. And then the Dallas Cowboys, who knows what they're doing with Dak Prescott. To me, they don't have the most draft capital in the world, but I'm sure Jerry Jones can figure something out. They have the cap space to sign a big quarterback like that. They offered Dak $38 million. He said no, or some reps, 30 something million. I don't even know the exact number. So they have the money to pay a quarterback, and Sean Watson could be that guy. Lots of possibilities to me. Miami stands out as the biggest name that has the best draft capital and would solve their quarterback skepticism problems. I think Tua is a good move to keep for the future, but if the Texans give me a call, about Deshaun Watson, I'm not turning down a top seven quarterback in the league if the price is at least somewhat reasonable. I don't want you guys think in the comments whether or not the Dolphins should do this, if they should take a call, if they should look into it, or any other team, two and a one.